Kazana says accessibility to public buildings remains a major stumbling block for wheelchair users and the visually impaired. He says buildings need to follow international universal design standards so that people with disabilities can safely access them. Person with disability will also come and utilize your building structure. Maybe we should put up the requirements if you build a permanent structure. One of the requirements, maybe we should be the one to approve it for you to go and construct your building. Because you want everybody to be accessible to buildings. We did not go much further in terms of accessibility in the country. He added that people with disabilities still face discrimination in terms of employment and promotion in government ministries. Kazana says every ministry has a focal person ensuring that issues affecting people with disabilities receive critical attention. Not necessarily the person have to report the problems or to bring up issues to disability council or to our department, but at least somebody who is in that uh, forum should speak out uh, with the colleague within their ministry to solve that problem amicable. He also called on parents to register their children with disabilities for their needs to be assessed. There are many people. A few weeks ago, I have been in the inlands of the surrounding of Kurenkuru, Nankudu, and so on. You will see some people, they are still lacking of crutches, wheelchairs, and so on. Many things to mention, but a few. Um, a, lot of the, a lot of them are not even receiving this disability grant, which they're supposed to receive. 